The UConn women are headed back to the national championship game after their 80-51 win over Oregon State Sunday in the national semifinals. Well, Morgan Tuck led the way with 21. I mean, play, play really slow for itself. You know, really, literally all we're doing, coming down the floor, throw her the ball, knocking shot after shot. And anytime she's playing like that, it's really, really hard to beat us. I've always been able to shoot threes, and I've had the times here where I don't make them <laughs> really at all. But, you know, I just had to go put in more time, and then I knew I'd make them. But it was a big night for Mariah Jefferson. Seven assists to move her past Diana Tarazi on the all-time assist list. Number one now at UConn. Jefferson, the drive, the dish, Tuck. That just, she's eating them up, folks. And, and Gina Auriemma likes to say that Morgan Tuck is our Draymond Green. And Mariah Jefferson, congratulations with that last dish, passing Diana Taurasi. She is now number one all time in career assists at Connecticut. She's done everything she can to, to help this program in every way, and that's a part of her legacy. I and mean, she passed a, a pretty big name here, and I don't know if it'll settle in for her until uh, after the season, but. She does everything for us and, and could be more happy for her. But it, it is a great accomplishment and I'm really happy. You know, I'm really happy, one, that I have teammates that can shoot the ball. So when I throw in the ball, they just knock it in. So it makes my job a lot easier. A big loss for UConn as Katie Lou Samuelson left the game at halftime with a broken bone in her left foot. Likely won't play in the championship game. But the duo of Gabby Williams and Afisa Collier combined for 14 points and seven rebounds off the bench for the Huskies. I think what separates us is that when Teams, you know, teams defense take, takes away one thing, then we have so many other things that we can do, you know. And you, you can't stop us by stopping one option. You know, we have so many options, so many go-tos, and that's what we try to show tonight. I just try to come in and, you know, contribute any way I can, taking a charge or whatever. Nurse off the window. Stewart up by the rim for the tip, no, and a third chance is good. There's the drive, the kick out, Tuck looking for another three. That's her third of the first quarter. You know, I think we have a lot of people on our team that are really versatile, like Gabby. You know, she was guarding Ruth that one time, but she can guard the, their best player. So I think, you know, when we have that, it'll, it's really hard for the offense because, you know, there there's not as many mismatches as if, you know, like most other teams have when there's a big post player that can't guard a guard or vice versa. Oh, it was unbelievable. I think that, you know, everyone was, was being aggressive, was being confident, and, um, that's that's what kind of team we have. It's going to be team effort. We're all going to have to do a little bit more, and we're going to have to step up. And now we're fired up because we, we want to play for her. There's just a sense of, like, we need to do this for her because uh, we have to fill her spot now that she can't um, play. So I think we're really trying to, you know, help the team and now Lou, too. UConn will seek its 11th national championship and record fourth in a row in the national championship game Tuesday night, 8 o'clock pregame on the UConn IMG Sports Network. The game will be televised nationally on ESPN. For Huskies All Access, I'm Huskies.